Hey everybody, Shmurly World here, back with another NES Classic. This time we are playing some Jackal. This is another game that I loved as a child, so I'm going to bring that love to you guys. Now, for all of you that have not played this game, you get to play a little Jeep. And you get to shoot bullets, and you can throw grenades, but the grenades are exponentially better than the bullets, so you're never actually going to shoot the bullets. I mean, I guess you might, but it's just not, like, recommended. You can beat the whole game with grenades, but the bullets, I guess, help, like, for, like, these dudes. So you come across these houses, these weird-looking houses. You gotta rescue the people by blowing them up. This little shiny guy. Look, now I got a missile. He upgrades your weapons. There's also- oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, they got turrets and stuff. And... It's kind of annoying. You gotta take them out with a grenade. I guess- I think you can also shoot them, but... They're kind of hard to just shoot. So you gotta get all tricky dicky. And luckily you drive faster than your enemy's bullets, so it's not the hardest thing to escape from. But it does... Uh, they are relentless with the amount of enemies. There's just always turrets, always something to... Always some shooting at you. Um, if these guys weren't shooting at me, I could try something. But they are. So then you get into like these little secret base things like this, and then you got all these houses. All these houses got your little dudes you gotta save. So you gotta blow them up, and then like, the little dudes come out. The little dudes come out, and I don't wanna die, so I have to kill them. Collect all the little dudes. You collect the little dudes, you gotta save them. You get more points, and this is from the early, they're like the late 80s, early 90s, where points were everything. You were not a gamer unless you gave up, unless you cared about your high score. Because that's pretty much the only, like, test of merit there were in games, was the, the scoreboard. So we got all these dudes, we gotta go on. Oh yeah, and when you, um, stack the... When you get multiple of, like, the flashy dudes, like, you get an upgraded missile, like, see, now it has a two-way shot, or two-way spread. If you get another one, uh, or if you have three, then you get a four-way spread, which just is super useful. Because now, I can just kill people from, like, super far away. And I'm not... Oh, wow. I'm getting stuck on everything. Everything that I didn't want to get stuck on. So you just gotta... Those ships keep coming forever. You just gotta move on with your lives. Oh, tanks. Oh, man. You're just... Like, you're the best jeep that the USA has to send. So now that I have four diddles... Oh, chopper. That's what we need. We need to get to the helicopter. Interestingly enough... Well, I'll show it to you guys later. When I actually get there. Now I can like double kill, see? Unless I clipped him off the screen. Yep, so he got saved because I moved the screen too far. Wow, they can shoot over their bear or their blockades. That's pretty sweet for them, not for me. Ha! Ah. Oh man, I do. You gotta be very careful when you progress because the enemies start shooting the second they get on the screen, and you don't wanna have too many enemies firing at you because that's just mighty unfortunate. But you can see, like, oh, there's a guy there? I'm gonna preemptively shoot at it, and I'm gonna miss every time. But we're gonna get there. We got there. Don't worry. That dude wasn't doing much, but he's an enemy. I am trained to murder all of my enemies. So, we have this, like, helicopter that decided to land in enemy territory, but it's really there to pick up our dudes. So, like, our friendly helicopter is now in their, like, deep in their territory, just, like, hanging out. And I guess they're, the enemy is cool with us using their helipad to lift out our dudes that I just rescued from there. I think that's it. Helicopter's gonna take off. That's pretty sweet. They got all, we saved all those men. We did good work today. Oh, I forgot to save this guy. Whatever, you can come with me. I think we're pretty close to the first stage boss. These stages aren't very long. But, uh... Yep, we're at the boss. First boss is kind of easy. It's just... Uh, poop ton of tanks. Almost said a swear. Stop myself, because I don't want to swear a lot anymore. Oh my gosh, I can't even hit them. Oh god, I'm gonna die. That was just bad. They all collapsed in on me. I got... I panicked. But don't worry, we can hurl our grenades. We can bring it back. Boy, this is gonna put me at a huge disadvantage in the upcoming levels. Because I could have carried over my thing. Here? 
That's it's like so great. He's just like he doesn't even know where he's supposed to be invading. He's like, is this where I, th I guess this is where we're supposed to go? So yeah, let's check it out. Okay, stage two with the columns and the horribly slow grenades that I don't like aiming for whatever reason. So fun thing, you can just run people over too. It's a very gruesome. Okay, thank you for giving me the missile. Now I have some chance of fucking there. Pop pop. Yeah, screw you, turret. You don't know about me. So, there's like a lot of secrets in this stage, like extra lives and whatnot, that I don't remember where they are. So please don't judge me for not not having that. Oh, whoa, that was close. Okay. Back on the offensive. Okay, here's their little encampment. Now I do remember some stuff about this encampment in as much that there's an enemy tank that like comes right from the exit or something. I don't know. I used to play this game a lot and I had all the enemy positions memorized and I could just like cruise through this game. But I have not played it in probably two or three years, so that knowledge is just lost to me. But it's okay, because we're good at video games. And we can do better. See? Oh, no, it's like the two turrets up here? Yeah! Oh dear. Well, there was a tank, so I was right about that too. But then these two turrets, if I just come in here and like shoot between them... It's not gonna let me shoot between them. Because they're not gonna let me get close enough. There we go. Okay. Very important strategy. Utilizing your spread shots. Okay. So we just want to make sure that we go carefully because some of these columns also like to fall. And of course that means they're murderous, lethal. If there's anything back there, I missed it. And there's like a secret one up somewhere in here. Far be it for me to remember where it is. But that's okay, because I don't plan on dying anymore after that first super embarrassing death. It doesn't hurt to like pre-fire your missiles just everywhere. Because then you don't have to worry about the things, because they're already explode by the time they have to do There you go, see? That column fell. I guess it fell when I shot it. But yeah, you gotta be careful. Oh, yes, Rainbow Dude spread shot coming in. For the win. Okay, so there's my helicopter. I gotta try to get there before they leave. But I also have to try to not get blown up by all the enemies. Oh, that was I didn't even I wasn't even aiming for him. I was trying to get that tank. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now we can save our dudes! Get out of there, brah. We don't need you. Oh god, got an extra life. Wow, I had a lot of guys in this tiny little jeep. So not only is it a jeep, but it's also a clown car. And... Oh jeez, watching out for columns, columns are dangerous. Okay, I'm not gonna go that way, there's enemies that way. I'm just gonna go around. Very smart strategy. Oh wow, okay. Flyer bombs and crazy jeeps. And apparently, uh, the same missile can take out um, a plane and a jeep at the same time, even though I'm pretty sure those two move in different planes of motion. But hey, I'm not gonna question it. it far be it for me to understand how the finer properties of how missiles work. Oh wow, I didn't even see you back there. You could've got me. That's okay. So we're just taking out these Medusa heads before they even have a chance to spit their Medusa missiles at me. Except for this one's kind of got a lock on me. Wow, I got stuck there. That would've been bad if I got hit. I would've been so sad. Okay. Oh, whoa! Whoa, that scared me, and I did not handle that situation well. But, we made it out. So I guess that's good. Just gotta- oh my gosh, the longest of the bullets. Yeah, if you have a bullet coming at you, just gotta make sure you're running in the opposite direction. Because you can- you can usually avoid it. Man, those explosions really help get extra range on the thing, on the on the shot, 
Oh god, boss already. Okay, those are just the Medusa. So this one's actually pretty easy. As long as like you have the level 4 missile, you just gotta keep shooting them. And they... Since your 4 shot takes care of all of their missiles, oh, they, I guess they send tanks. Oh jeez! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh! Okay. I guess it's not as easy as I thought it was. But yeah, if you just, um... Use your 4-way spread shot, their missiles tend to get exploded. Am I even hitting her? I hope I, I don't think I am. And this is kind of unfortunate because I'm in a bad position. Okay. Bringing it back. Bringing it back. Bringing it back. Bringing it around town. Bringing it around town. And you do this. And then you do this. Oh man, this is actually kind of a cluster fudge of explosions. Okay, 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 okay. We got this. We got this. Yes, we did. And now if you don't die, you guys just go through shooting everything like, yeah! Sorry about the loudness of that. I just got too excited because my guy was all pumped up and firing. I'm going to pause it here because I feel like this would be a good place to end the first episode. So, thanks for checking out my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like NES because I sure do. Uh, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and or subscribe, and hopefully we can chat about how great old school Nintendo games are. Thanks!